I am getting eaten out here. The mosquitoes are bad. It's a 30 degree night. Oh, I just see a bat flying by. There's always more bats in the city than you think there would be. But they eat the mosquitoes, so I like them. Did you notice that contraption in the background of my last video? It was front heavier. It's called a parallelogram, and it's probably the best way to keep a pair of binoculars steady for a night of observing. This model is called the Paralite 2 from a company called Starlight Innovations. I was sent this to try out from the company. It's a local company here in Canada and it's all handcrafted wood products. Really nice stuff. The package I got came with a wooden tripod as well called the Trilite. Lightweight tripod. I think I've got that right. It's refreshingly different from all the regular astrophotography gear I use because it's all made out of wood. Baltic, perch, plywood, and ash to be exact. The top portion of the rig, which can be purchased on its own and installed on your own tripod, is called the Paralite 2. I just got bit by about, mm, let's say 30 mosquitoes. Pretty sure I knelt in dog food. The entire rig is really lightweight and I think that's kind of the idea. I can easily set it up in any part of the yard I want for a night of observing. I think keeping the rig really lightweight was uh, a top priority for this product because without that it wouldn't get much use. The Paralite came with a 5 pound counterweight which lets you mount 8 pounds worth of gear on the other end of it. You can continue to add more counterweights to mount a big heavy pair of binoculars, 20 to 25 pounds. The pair of binoculars that I currently own uh, are big enough for me and they only require a single five pound counterweight. The binoculars I'm talking about are of course the Celestron Skymaster 15 by 70 binoculars. This is a great pair if you're looking for some pretty amazing views on a budget. You see that dot in the sky just over there? That's the planet Jupiter and I'm looking at it through the binoculars right now. The beauty is that the parallelogram holds the binoculars completely still and you don't have to touch them at all so it's hands free and you actually finally get that steady view you've been waiting for through a big pair of binoculars. Any adjustments you make, you move it slightly and it holds its spot. It's just a matter of finding the sweet spot for these knobs and tightening things up. Not too loose, not too stiff, and it goes right where you want it. Innovation products are all about making your backyard observation sessions more enjoyable. They make tripods and star chairs and eyepiece trays all made out of this handcrafted wood material. Really beautiful stuff. I think uh, there's a crowd that can really appreciate this, this quality of craftsmanship. I picture something like this being perfect for keeping at the cottage uh, on the deck. Uh, I mean it's useful here in the backyard too but I just feel like this is almost like a showpiece. You keep it around for when uh, you have company over and you want to show them something. There's a few things I'm excited to do with this Paralite 2 and the, uh, the Tri-Lite tripod. Uh, one, I'll bring it to uh, star parties this summer uh, like the Cherry Springs star party coming up in about three weeks. Uh, and two, uh, just here in the backyard under a moonless night uh, in the middle of summer and to check out some of the uh, deep sky objects in Sagittarius in the Milky Way. Uh, just hopping around and finding globular clusters and uh, some of the brighter nebulae. That's prime time observing as far as binoculars go. When I was first approached about getting uh, to try out this Paralite 2 parallelogram, I thought to myself, is this something I'd really use? I mean, I'm an astrophotographer. This is clearly built for visual observations, but 
the way I feel about it is that I don't do visual observing enough and I've kind of fallen out of that appreciation side for uh, astronomy and something like this makes it that much more easy there's no excuses I can set up my zero gravity chair underneath and just set this up and just sit back put headphones on grab a drink and just enjoy the night sky man it's been it's been a long time since I just took a deep breath and did some visual observations through a pair of binoculars there's nothing else like it <laughs>